welcome to the topic on automating business decisions consider you have a approve or reject step wherein a manager or a reviewer or a higher authority person or a csr manually validates reviews checks the data and takes a decision approve or reject but in some cases if the formula is fixed if there are if we can define 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 some thumb rules then let us make the system to take the decision instead of involving human people in such cases we can use a decision step to take a an appropriate decision and change the course of the case action or change the course of the flow in the case life cycle for example consider a scenario wherein if credit score is less than 500 we can tell the system to directly reject if the credit score is greater than 700 then also we can tell the system to directly approve the credit card application but what if the credit score is in between 500 and 700 then in such case we can add. only in such cases we can add some human intervention say for example if credit score is between 500 to 700 but the customer is ha having very good bank balance so in, in such cases we might approve the loan and the dish there some human touch is needed to take in, in for taking the decision in such cases we can use our human efforts in other cases we can automate so uh, basically for ex uh, earlier in this validation stage there used to be a simple approve or reject step wherein csr used to approve or reject it manually so there used to be a persona called csr in this stage as well but now we have removed that because csr is no more uh, in the picture to take decision system automatically take the decision you click this icon to open the process or flow rule in the process model modeler so if as you can see here validate request is a decision shape custom condition click on this gear icon to define your custom condition so under customer id we have enrollment property so you have can go to the fields customer id data model or data object in that there is a property called enrollment if that is true then you go to the end shape that is you approve it else change to rejection stage and you can just right right click add you can add a decision shape like this so you can place it here you can also right click add automations change to next stage means it will go to the immediate stage but we want to go to an alternate stage or we want to go to some other specific stage whose name we are going to mention so select change to a stage so you can place it here and connect uh, use this connector to connect here so when you click here it will ask for you to which stage you want to go in the flow currently while in uh, validation stage i want to go to approval rejection stage you can also add an audit mode audit mode is putting the case history you can see what all processings have happened in that case so by using such a configuration we can easily make the system automate the decisions by using a decision shape such as a diamond shape now same configuration we will see in dev studio in dev studio the configuration would be little different on the decision shape you will not find the when condition there will be no right side there will be no tab to see so you need to click on the decision shape and you need to select fork if you want to use when rules to take the decision you need to select fork and the when rules you have to mention in the outgoing onward going connector so this is the when rule so this is what we configured from app studio if you want more advanced conditions then you can go to advanced tab but do know that note that once you edit this you cannot use in the app studio in such configuration say i will just edit it i will not add any complex conditions but still when you go here the rule uses advanced configuration visible only on the advanced tab so now here it in the conditions tab also it is not visible in the app studio also it is not visible but i did not make any changes so the moment you click here it will be made as dirty and you cannot access there so you press refresh you don't save it so that you can access from the conditions tab and also from the 
app studio whatever you see in the conditions tab this will come in the app studio so if this if this is true it will go to n shape it is false then it will follow the else path condition type is else you are going to rejection stage this is our rejection stage thank you